Hey guys, my name is Wally Renee, and I usually do cool stuff with uh, Plan Mecca Romexis, but today we're going to use Mesh Mixer. All right, guys, Mesh Mixer Dentures, epicness. I love this stuff. Okay, Intraoral Scan, Emerald Scanner, full edentulous uh, models are going to be made using Extract Tool. Right now, I am just literally smoothing up these borders here because when you scan in the mouth, you're going to scan all sorts of weird stuff. And I'm using the select tool. And if you click outside of the model, you'll automatically get the lasso. And it is a little touchy and makes you say curse words, but it's not all that bad. One thing I'm using it right now for is to try to get rid of any folds, creases, or fins in my border of my model. And one thing that's essential for these is to have a clean border. If you have any like little holes like right there or folds, you're never going to be able to mess with this correctly. Okay, so now I'm going to double click just on that blue line and try to highlight the border. And I'm actually going to expand that ring. And if it's red, it means it still doesn't love it. So there's still like a little triangle it hates. And there's one right there for sure. There's a little hole right there that I gotta get rid of. I'm just going to discard. Now I'm gonna expand maybe a couple more times and I'm trying to smooth this border and it's still not letting me, it's red. So you could further expand out that ring. Let me show you guys, expand that ring again. And now you could go to smooth border And I'm just going to go to transform and I'm going to raise up a, a base. Now transform lets you do anything. So be careful. You could like flare it out. You can increase the size of the base in different directions. Like if you're trying to maybe, I don't know what you would want to do that for, but <clears throat> you could do it. But anyway, I usually just go straight out with an expand and then going to go ahead and analyze model and put a top on that. It's not going to be a smooth top. I really don't care why everybody is so obsessed with having perfectly flat tops. There it is. Okay. Now, because it has, um, remember, remember those face groups, we could just select all those little groups. So you could just double click and even that little border right there. Now, if you want to create a land area for your denture, you can do that by now going to transform that. And since it has a top, it's going to do a more uniform transform where you won't get a flare out, but you'll get, um, you, you'll have the ability just to expand it as one unit and create like this flat land area. This is completely unnecessary and a complete waste of time, but I'm doing it anyway because I get this question all the time. People like to spend a lot of time making little bases and land areas and things. I I guess I guess if you're gonna print everything and present it to a patient, it would be nice to have all this, but I usually just print the denture and so I don't really ever do anything with this. So for me this first five minutes are, are almost unnecessary. But anyway now I'm using the bubble smooth um, tool and I'm just going to go ahead and just round off some edges. If you want to spend more time, you could totally smooth everything and kind of make it gorgeous. You could plain cut it. Um, you could extrude it and make a nicer flat surface. Not going to mess with that right now. I'm just going to go ahead and move on here because you could spend too much time. So let's go ahead and now delete the teeth. This is actually wicked easy. And kind of satisfying in some weird way. So you basically just use your select tool and you're going to circumscribe the area to which you want to remove, being super careful that you stay within the confines of where the natural tooth is. In addition to that, try to avoid any kind of holes in the orange. So if you have like a little speckle that you didn't select, you're going to air out, it's going to turn the tooth red. And we'll show you that in like a minute when we get to the anteriors. But yeah, just, and also, Maybe just do four teeth at a time, five teeth at a time. Edit, erase, and fill. And then you're going to go down to the bulge and put it about a negative four. Whatever you're comfortable with. I don't know. I usually just do negative four. And it kind of inverts it just a little bit to mimic, you know, extraction sockets. 
Same thing in the anterior, we're breaking this up into sections here and we are gonna just try to fill in everything. Now, what you'll see here is that there is an area that I don't get and I get frustrated. It's okay, we get frustrated with things. And it, it turns red when it doesn't like what you did. So now I'm gonna to go to edit, erase and fill and I'm gonna get these kind of red teeth it's shouting at me that I suck and what it's telling you is like it's not a complete surface there's there's holes somewhere and so once again still not loving it sometimes it highlights it red for you I'm trying to like think of where I missed somewhere trust me I missed oh that was a mistake it's right there I don't know where it is Try again, keep looking. Mm, you see that little red dot right there, that bright red? That's telling me that's where I missed. So now we're good. Ready to erase and fill, make it a four bulge. It's actually really easy to delete teeth. And you could prep teeth too, like if you're doing like a wax up but you didn't want to do an additive wax up, you, and then I can maybe do another video on how to prep teeth um, a little later. But anyway, so now we're gonna, once again, break this up into sextants, select all those teeth. And when you're not making a video, this is kind of fast. I mean, I don't know, two minutes. I usually don't do the base. Delete the teeth, whatever, throw it in the net fab, put a base on it that way, print it, something. I don't know what you guys use, preform, whatever. But once again, so I missed something somewhere. It's probably obvious, yep, giant area right there. Okay, so now we're just gonna do a quick little erase and fill, negative four. Now, what you get, so don't be so picky here because the bubble smooth is actually ridiculous. So you could go now to your tools bubble smooth, and if you hold control down, it's gonna go in the negative direction. So you're gonna accentuate those ovate ponic sites and remove any fins. If you don't go, into the control and you just do the regular tool as is, it'll inflate it a little bit very gently. And so you could fill in areas that you think you remove too much, but it's pretty epic. This tool, I don't know, it does everything. The bubble smooth is just insane. I love it. Okay, so once you get that the kind of the way you want it, we're gonna just repair some little holes and things that are in the model and that's using the analyze tool and sorry we're going fast but geez nobody has an hour to sit on and watch a video all right so we're going to actually make the denture base now i already did it on the bottom so let's just do this top one so you're just going to select the borders of your denture and you know if it's coming off an intraoral scan chances are your borders are pretty close to where you want them it's not going to overextend like an alginate so you want to get it as close as you can to that land area. You could always trim it back. I guess you could always add two. But anyway, being very careful here, trying to maximize my borders here. And then I'm going to fill in everything. It's important that you not try to do this with out letting go of the mouse and do it in one swoop because then if you mess up the control z is going to take you all the way back to the beginning versus if you broke it up into sections okay now i want to smooth that border because my border is kind of jagged so i'm going to just go and go to smooth border and you can see it splits the difference and creates a really gorgeous smooth area i'm going to hit y just y and it's going to separate out that shell all by its lonesome I'm gonna to go to extrude and I'm gonna to go to normal and put 2.3, 2.5, whatever you want your thickness of your denture base to be. Now, if you're making a custom tray, you could just quite simply make an offset and then do this so that you have some spacer, but for a denture, you don't wanna offset, so we're skipping that step. Now we're just gonna polish this up. It's kind of a hot mess, so use your bubble smooth and be careful. Like if you're going too aggressive, you could actually start to create some errors in the mesh. So you'll see that you don't want that stuff. That's like, I don't know what that is, but it, it turns out to be bad. So back up a little bit more gentle on the smooth. 
the bigger the smooth tool, the better in these kind of like giant round motions. All you're trying to do here is get rid of kind of these fins, which is normal, and you're trying to get rid of creases. You can't have like the mesh folding over on itself. That just doesn't work um, later on when you start to try to do things with it, like, I don't know, print it or make it a solid. <clears throat> it's gonna have issues. So I think I'm just using the regular um, smooth. Now I'm on bubble smooth. Now bubble smooth, once again, all through the strength here, so you're not doing anything crazy, but you're you're holding control if you want to shrink that back a little bit, and you're not holding control if you want to inflate it a little bit. So depending on what you want to do, just getting rid of some of these spikes, not being too crazy. I I think um, my motto when I do digital designs is done is always better than perfect. I just like to move on to the next step because to be honest with you. I don't know where my teeth are going right now, so I don't know where to start create festooning, so I'm not even gonna try to worry about that right now. Some people will spend 500 hours here and then quit. This is not the time to spend 500 hours. Okay, anyway, smoothing that border up, loving it. Make sure your volumetric icon is not checked so that it doesn't go through to the intaglio surface of the denture and start smoothing that. Forgot to mention that. Totally will destroy your entire denture. You do not want to be smoothing the inside by accident when you smooth the outside. So if you if you have the volumetric icon selected, you will smooth both surfaces almost simultaneously and destroy the fit of your denture. Unless you reline up gears, but whatever. Okay, so now, this is cool. What we're going to do now is we're going to try to find the um, original teeth that were on the top. I think I accidentally forgot to duplicate that model, so I'm just going to drag it back in from my hard drive. Yep, I can't find it. So yeah, before you delete the teeth, sometimes it's nice to duplicate the model, but I'm just going to drag it back in. and It remembers where it belongs, and so that's the model of the um, teeth. And I'm just going to start to melt away using either inflate control down or bubble smooth control. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to sculpt. Oop, went too far there. Now I have to not hold control. And yeah. Yep, another area went too far. I'm just trying to get an idea where the teeth go. All right, so. Now I'm going to go to my Brennus library and go to, oh, so yeah, there's a couple options you have with his library. If you're doing a top and the bottom, you definitely want to bring in the top and the bottom. So I'm going to delete that and bring in my lower that I already did for you guys. So we don't have to go through that process. Same thing as the top. And now I'm going to do the top and bottom. The reason why you want to do that, because they're actually in perfect occlusion. It's pretty epic. So now I'm going to just bring that in. Thank you, Christian, for being awesome. Love these teeth. There's some other cool people who have made teeth for Mesh Mixer, too. I don't know. So I'm just trying to trying to get this. Now you could put on your lower model and go two thirds up your retromolar pad and use your all the little pros philosophies or whatever you want to do that makes you happy. I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah, bringing on the lower model and looking at the retromolar pad area, looking at the original occlusal plane the patient had, to seeing what I need to do differently if I need to expand or shrink the model the Brennus library because you could expand and shrink and you could also click teeth individually and move them it's insane if you had a different like occlusion philosophy like a lingualized philosophy you could alter them and then resave them in a lingualized occlusion pattern so you don't have to do it every time whatever you're you could do a monoplane library whatever makes you happy 
but now I'm actually hitting the magnetic tool and that lets you see through in kind of this creepy ghost way. Then you could see where your teeth are in relation to the original occlusal plane of the patient. Awesome. Pretty happy with that. I love it. Very cool. Now I'm just putting on my denture bases, if I can find them. Nope. Yep. There we go. Probably going to delete the third molars. Just thinking. Probably don't need the second molars either, but... So to delete them, you could select it all and hit discard. And for some reason, it's not selecting everything here, and I don't know why. One of you mesh, maker, mesh mixer geniuses will figure it out. Usually you just double click the tooth and it selects the whole entire tooth. But now it's just, maybe because, I don't know why. Usually you just, it's easier than this. Because I'm making a video, it's being annoying. Yeah. I don't know why it's not finding the whole entire tooth. Okay. You make sure you remove every little remnant. If you leave like little floaters, you're gonna it's not gonna be good. Oh, this is looking hot already. Cool. So now I mean now actually is kind of the fun part. You can start to festoon. Love festooning. Um not really good at it, as you'll see, but <laughs> I love it. I don't know why I'm messing with the tooth. I'm trying to mess with the denture base, so I'm just going to select that. I'm going to go down to inflate and hold control, and you're going to deflate and then inflate if you need to. Like here, I need to get some more tissue around that pontic. Now, you have two options. We'll, we'll go over this later. You could print the denture base and print the teeth and glue them together, or you could print it as all one piece and stain the tissue pink, which is what I do. But then you could do Boolean difference and get your your denture base with the cutouts that then everything will fit back in. I don't I don't know I don't think I'm going to go into that today really too much. Okay, so just once again hold Control to melt away when you have the inflate tool and avoid creating. So alternate between bubble smooth and inflate. And you, you could start to just really sculpt the tissue areas. I'm going to speed this up for you guys so you don't have to painfully go through this while I festoon this. All right, that was awesome. Love it. So now what we need to do is like, I don't know, get these teeth filled in. So analyze the teeth and let um, mesh inspector like auto repair all of them so that they're, they have tops. You could use the Pontic library and then you wouldn't have to do this. I don't know why I didn't use the Pontic library to be honest, but this is one way to get the tops filled <clears throat> here. And so what it's going to do is it's going to it's not going to make it a solid. It's just going to put tops on them. I don't think it's going to make them a solid. Let's see. If, if you if you try to remesh this as a solid, you lose all the hot anatomy. Not the way to do it. Yeah, it just does that. Sweet. So now the next step is to take that, 
take your denture base and slice off where the next of the teeth were sticking through the intaglio surface of your denture. Okay, so let's so do that. you see how the teeth are sticking through? You're gonna hit, well first you're gonna dupe the, the record base, the, I mean the denture base. You're gonna duplicate that. And then you're going to do highlight the teeth first, then the denture base. Make sure you do it in that order and then do Boolean difference. And it's gonna chop off anything that was touching like that. And then, so, because you, and it ruins your denture base. So if you didn't duplicate it first, you're, you're kind of screwed. You'll just have teeth sitting there. So now you're just gonna select, and it, it's, is it not selecting everything? I know why. I need to go to control A everything and go to um, forget face groups. So this way you don't have like 500 face groups. Yeah, so control all forget face groups. And now when I select those floaters, it highlights all of it. And I'm gonna be able just to delete those little floaters. And it's gonna be super clean and hot. There we go. Now I'm gonna put on my denture base that I duped, combine those by clicking them together and hit combine. That's it guys, you're actually ready to print this hot beast. So just money cakes, loving these things. Oh yeah, we could put a little whatever, powder seal. Super cool. Well, I hope you guys learned something. Um, no, you don't need ExoCAD to do stuff and you could do it like in three seconds with this when you get good at it. No, I don't think I know how to do dentures without record bases and mesh mixers. So right now I'm just using it for immediates, which is actually a good bit of stuff for me. <clears throat> and it's perfect because I'm printing these and printed dentures don't last forever. So like they're perfect for immediates. You're gonna throw them in the trash in four months anyway. So loving this. And then plus immediates, you could dupe them when the patients lose them because first time denture wearers like think their dentures are disposable anyway, and they will lose it. So just print another one. Super awesome guys. Thanks for playing along with me and yeah, hope to do some more for you. Thanks.